this is Rich, Tennessee Homestead. How the heck are you? I know you're probably going, you have raw eggs with your coffee in the morning? No. <laughs> Alrighty, let me uh, show you what I'm doing here. Right there is one of the grade A jumbo eggs that our Osterlorps lay. And I've got it laying there as a size comparison. <clears throat> this egg here is one of them that came out of the Buff Orpingtons in our summer coop. That is on average what the buffs are laying. And you can see that, uh, you know, the Osterlorps are definitely laying a bigger egg. But, you know, these are getting larger, so before it's all over, said, and done, I'm sure they'll be laying jumbo eggs also. What I wanted to show you, folks, and I'll move this around a little bit, is there we go. Little girl did it again. She is laying one of these a day. And what I had, uh, and I handled this one, by the way, and it is a three yoker. <laughs> Just about all of them are two and three yolk eggs. So, in the mornings when I'm having my first cup of coffee, there is usually a chicken over there that sounds like it's being tore apart by a predator. And just carrying on. Not like just the normal, I just laid an egg celebration. I mean, you would think that chicken was, you know, being ate by something. Uh, I've gotten kind of used to it now. I used to run over there and would never see which hen was doing it. And they were all up on the roost, uh, kind of tucked in like, okay, life's good. This morning I decided I want to find out who's doing this. So... Uh, well before sunup, I went over and uh, looked. I would have loved to have taken a video of it, but it was so dark over there and I didn't want to shine any bright lights that would, you know, cause her any discomfort. So I went over and was watching, and lo and behold, my little buddy that comes into the garage all the time and causes havoc, <clears throat> yeah, she's sitting in a nesting box, and this is well before sunup. And then she started in with her, I'm, I'm being tore apart here, and uh, laid that egg that you see laying there. That one right there. Then one of the totally amazing parts of it is she didn't even use do the normal, I just laid an egg victory chant. This little girl jumped down off the box, out of the, out of the nesting box, and... Kind of trottled across the floor, jumped up on the roost, and snuggled back in like she was going to try to get a few more minutes sleep before the rooster started in. Fascinating. And it is that little buff that is forever pestering me at the garage. Which totally amazes me, because she is the, I always called her the run of the litter, uh, she was the smallest buff we have over there. Just totally amazing. <laughs> Definitely going to uh, pass out some little additional treats to her this morning. Um, and she deserves it. <laughs> I mean, when she jumped back up on the roost, I could have swore I heard one of the other hens say something about being a show-off. But uh, this little girl usually lays early in the morning before the sun comes up, uh, which is kind of unusual for them. But I guess when you're dealing with an egg that large inside you and you're a little chicken, it's... Uh, you know, when it's time to lay, it's time to lay, and she doesn't much care when that is. She wants that thing out of her. So, yeah, uh, the little little troublemaker in the garage is who's laying that egg. Uh, just leaves me flabbergasted. You know, you just, and the way she jumped down out of that box and didn't make a sound, just kind of waddled herself across the coop and jumped up on the roosting bar and um, just kind of snuggled back in, went back to sleep. Uh, <laughs> I'll tell you folks, leaves you walking away going, wow, is not nature wondrous? Uh, you'd have never thought that, that that little hen was putting out that huge egg. And like I said, they're always double or triple yokers. Uh, this one here I went ahead and candled. Uh, just to see, and it is at least a triple yoker. Uh, 
could even be more than that. So it's, uh, I mean, to, to be quite honest with you, uh, for a just laid egg, uh, this thing almost looks like it has a chick in there. <laughs> There's just very little um, open area in that egg, uh, full of yolks. So, yeah, pretty wondrous thing. Um, and honest to goodness, folks, we don't have any ducks or geese, so that is what you're looking at right there is a chicken egg. Uh, like I said, grade A jumbo, what we're getting out of most of the buffs, and what we get out of the little runt of the litter. Um, absolutely leaves you shaking your head. I'm going to have to tag her with a name, and I'm not sure whether it's going to be, you know, uh, Supergirl or, or Wonder Woman. Uh, wow. What can you say? Anyway, I thought you might enjoy that. Uh, kind of different. Uh, you just don't see eggs like that very often, folks. Uh, you know, raised a lot of chickens, and you just don't see eggs like that all the time. Especially out of that small of a hen. It just leaves me awed and amazed at uh, God's creation in action. Uh, it's one of the reasons we do what we do, you know. You get to see these kind of little miracles going on. So anyway, that girl, needless to say, has earned extra special treats. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this. But uh, finally caught the culprit. And I'll be darned if it isn't that little troublemaking hen. God love her. Anyway, this is Rich from Tennessee Homestead. I hope you folks have an absolutely wonderful week. And we'll talk to you later.